All right, so what we have over here is a wet boat. And the problem is that every time it rains, water seems to seep in. And it's not just a little bit. This cabin gets flooded pretty good with about an inch at least. So it's collecting pretty good somewhere up here. Um, before we continue putting the uh, galley um, cabinet in that I built, if you've seen the last video, I definitely want to take care of this first so it doesn't get wet and rot out again. So. All right, so I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go down below and close up the hatch pretty well. And I'll have my dad over here with the hose and he'll be up over here in the cockpit and he'll spray um, certain locations of the foredeck. So, all right. By spraying this, hopefully we'll locate the area that they're leaking. And I think we'll come up with the solution for it. All right, my dad's up there now spraying and it's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely coming in with the hatch so I don't think that's the place where it's flooding the cabin but actually maybe I lied it's coming in really good over there so yep that's an issue we'll have to repair and I'm willing to bet there's other spots too where it's coming in look at that alright I got this hatch closed up and uh, my dad's about to once he finds a spot he wants to spray um, mm -hmm. He's gonna soak the rest of the four deck down, hey. including the companionway area, and uh, hopefully we can see where it's leaking. But it's definitely leaking, so <laughs> I don't care how long it takes. We gotta find this. He's up there now spraying, and again some water coming in through the hatch. the container way now and I see where it's coming in and this is definitely where it's coming in good when it rains so yeah that makes a lot of sense it collects on the floor deck and runs down the uh, runs down the companion way and look at this yeah it's definitely a snow I have to figure I have to figure out why he's doing that <laughs> all right all right as my dad pointed out there's a space here I don't know how I missed it but I did and you can see the space right there so the water comes in over there drains all the way down and floods the cabin so hmm it's funny this side's not yeah see this side's got a space to, pretty good space too and you can see that's exactly where the water started to come in see where it got wet over here so i have to figure out what we can do about that my dad has a couple of ideas so we'll have to go over that so as i was looking over this the other day um we noticed that we had some water coming in uh, because it was, these drop boards were, they seemed to have a little bit, quite a bit of space in it. And water was definitely coming in that way. And I was going to try to rebuild these drop, um, these drop boards, but I, <clears throat> I, I, wood is so, exp <laughs> wood is so expensive these days and this type of wood is going to be really expensive. So I decided instead of doing that, I don't think it's super necessary because it looks like, um, it looks like on the bottom of these drop boards over here, when the water did seep in, which okay, fine, I assume it, it's okay if it does that, but um, when it does actually come down to the bottom, it's d draining into the cabin. I think that's the bigger issue, while it should be draining out into the cockpit. So uh, what I want to do is sand this down and, um, and pretty much try to treat the whole area with some, uh, some resin. So I think by doing that, we'll waterproof all this and it'll help it drain out into the cockpit. So. Uh all right, so I got this polyester resin mixed up and let's try to get some on this, uh, on this companion way and hopefully this does the trick seals it up so it don't leak anymore because it wasn't just a little leak it was a huge leak so i want to concentrate pretty much just on the bottom at the seams because i think that's where the water was coming in by there was a gap in the in the uh, drop boards <clears throat> but 
I, I don't think that's the reason why it was leaking. I don't. I mean, some water may have been coming over there, but I think for the most part, it was collecting down the bottom here and uh, and really seeping. So I think this will do the trick. Yeah, I think this will do the trick just perfectly. So I think I got the companion way sealed up pretty good. I just sanded down all of the trim, all the teak, and um, I just used this resin on it, kind of a weak batch, to let it absorb into the wood, which it looks to be doing that. And over here on the bottom, I left it a little bit thicker, which is kind of, well, it might be, I'm hoping it's going to be good, but it might be a bad idea, unfortunately, because it has a higher tendency to crack. I should, maybe I should have done a few thin coats, I'm not sure. But that's what I did, and I'm hoping now that when the water comes down over here, it's just going to run off this way into the cockpit instead of backfilling into the uh, cabin. So that's where we are right now, and I'm kind of excited to um, have this thing dry and see if it actually works. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do it because we're expecting a blizzard over here in New England in about one hour and 40 Three minutes and 22 seconds. So, okay. All right, that's that. See you next time.